Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Tacoma Rainiers and the Las Vegas Aviators. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here. Our starting pitcher in this one, Ryan Cusick. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. So just about set now, Stuart Fairchild. And he deals. That one's in there, and that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 7 o'clock. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. Came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Donovan Walt will hit next. First offering is fouled off. No score just getting started, top of the first. Here's your one. Now a one and a one. Trying to bunt his way on. Mondu whips it across. No hit here on the bunt attempt. They get the out. Take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they... Well, play's made there, and that retires the side. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Bottom of the first, and on the hill today, Tommy Malone. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Bottom of the first. Now it's the shortstop, Leading number 37. The aviator, not shortstop. Jackson. The pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. That Let's take a look at the lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. On the ground right side. Over to first. Yeah. Two up, two down. Batting third. The center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Loriano comes up the hit. 
He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first, and Laureano is retired. That ends the inning. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Steven Souza Jr. And here it comes. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two now. Stays alive. Next pitch misses way outside. Now all leave it up. And down on strikes. And there's one away. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Here's Evan White. This one high in the air to left center. Loriano sizing this one up, puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go Sam deep into this game. Haggerty. Next is the designated hitter, Sam Haggerty. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two outs. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Tracks it down for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the catcher, Austin Allen. Leading off for the Aviators, the catcher, Austin Allen. The wind and the pitch. In the air, right field. Susan under it, brings it in, and there's one down. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Derby. Now it's going to be number 20. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. On the ground, McCoy collects it. Now the throw to first on the run. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Batting four, the designated hitter. So now the DH spot, Vimael Machine. Little chopper rolls foul. Number 20, the base runner at first with one out. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Oh, 
at the belt and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Batting seven. The left fielder. Go. Sky Bolt, the next to hit. The switch hitter batting right. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. No score here in the second. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. On the ground to third, and that is that. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing done. New inning getting started, and here's the catcher, Joseph Odom. Leading off for Tacoma, the catcher, Joseph Odom. Cusick back to work. Just missed. The one up. There's a strike. There's a one one. And that's a strike. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. The second base. So digging in, Mason McCoy. And first offering is fouled off. That one misses in the dirt. Top of the third, no score. Smash to the left side. To first, first two batters retired here in the top of the third. Fastball groove right down the middle, usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a speed threat, number 76. Swings through that one. 0-1. On. Oh In the air, right side. McDonald as he glides to his left. And that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. I don't wear a cape or apron, so I ain't saving you a clean house. Do you think that's just a statement? And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Allen. Leading off. For the Aviators, the second baseman, Nick the pitch. Allen. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much Batting split up. the zone down the, the middle, and baseman. those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So up next, Nate Mondu. That one fouled off. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Swings and misses. Oh, with two down. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Allen aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, 
This to third, and that's just foul. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Squirts away a little bit. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and now played man. right into the hands of the pitcher. So the lineup flips over. Number 37 now at the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Susan pulls that one down, two away down. The batter, the right fielder, Mickey. Mickey McDonald digs in now. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. And a pitch. This to center field, Lewis moving under it. And that is that. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Welcome back. And now, Stuart Fairchild. Leading off for Tacoma, the left fielder, number 30. Stewart, the pitch. Fairchild. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. And that one fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball and then you swing and you miss and you go back to the dugout shaking your head swing and a pop off in foul ground and there's two away the center fielder number one Kyle Lewis Two outs, base is empty. This is Kyle Lewis. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Righty delivers. And now the count is even. And the pitch. Really had to move for that crab. And that's the third out. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. Here's Ramon Laureano. For the Aviators, the center fielder. And a pitch. That's to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Now battle. The catcher. Austin. Allen. Now here is Austin Allen. 0 for 1, he was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball.
Loriano gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. And he chases that one. One away. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So digging in, number 20. Malone takes to first, and he's back safely. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Leading off for Tacoma, the right fielder, number 21, Steven Souza Jr. The pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0-2. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Evan White will hit next. In there, and it's 0-1. And now the 0 1. And there's a ball. One ball, one strike. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The Rainiers still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Sam Haggerty getting ready to hit. Next offering is down low. One and oh. Up the middle. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, no, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joseph Odom. And that's in there for strike one. Haggerty leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. In the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. It's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Halfway through this one, still no score.
questions going back and forth and playing tennis you want minutes we head to the bottom of the fifth now it's the dh Dimael machine for the aviators the designated hitter Dimael machine the pitch swing and a pop-up McCoy drifts towards it one up one down that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little Number bit and popped it up. Number 11, Scott. Oh. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Sky Bolt. Well struck left field back there. And it hits the fence. And that's a double. Here's the second baseman, Nick Allen. The batter, number two, second baseman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Kicks and deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Not a swing you want to watch again. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Around third. The throw home. Not in time. He scores. And it's 1-0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. Runner on at first with one gone. Stepping in, Nate Mundu. He's going, he's and going. And there he going. goes. Cut on and missed. Safe and second with a stolen base. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. One out and a runner at second. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Now batting, shortstop, through. Number 37, yes, now at the plate. And that one fouled off. Allen at second with two down. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Allen coming home. And that's going to get into the corner. The run comes in from second, and they lead by two. Safely into third. It's an RBI triple. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So two down, and here is Mickey McDonald. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Two outs with a runner at third. Next pitch is outside. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Kicks and fires. Down to ball here, rolls foul. And here it comes. Swing and a ball popped up. 
Walt makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Mason McCoy. Leading off for Tacoma. Well, the after putting base. up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. And he deals. Going to count one and two. The pitch. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That one down the line, and that's just foul. That one ripped. Loriano makes the catch. One down. Now batting. Third base down. Jose Caballero. So up next, number 76. Swings through that one. 0-1. On. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. So the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Stuart Fairchild. In there for strike one. The 0 1. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. And the righty deals. Pitch misses. And the count one and two. Two outs. That one missed. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Up with it, fires the first. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Welcome back, bottom of the six. And now the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. For the Aviators, the center fielder. pitch there's a strike next offering way off the plate And now the lefty. That one is absolutely belted. It bangs off the wall. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your Look hands good. whatsoever. Oh, Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And the batter now, Austin Allen. Soft contact in the air, and there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Anything but pretty right there, the but he'll take it every time. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed it. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Tommy Malone is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Matt Brash into the game, and he'll do his best to keep this close. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now the batter now, number 20, Lewis, on his way over. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Machine at the plate now as he chases after that one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Riding to the plate. On the ground to first. Could be two to second. There's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Back here at the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Donovan Walt. Leading off for Tacoma. The shortstop, Donovan Walton. The pitch. And that's outside. Left hand hitter waits. Fouled off. He was late. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. That one in for a strike, two and two. Swing and a miss, the velocity blasted it right past him. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Digging in, Kyle Lewis. And first offering is fouled off. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first, and two away to start the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of now keeping batter. the ball right out field. of the air. Let's the defense mm -hmm. work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Steven Souza Jr., who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one's in there, 0 and 1. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. On. 
and a 1-1. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that is gone. Steven Souza Jr. leaves the park. And they cut into the deficit. It's 2-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And here's the first baseman, Evan White. Now batting the first baseman, Evan White. In there, and it's 0-1. The tying run at the plate. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. And the right hander deals. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's going to be Sky Bolt. Leading up for the Aviators, the left fielder, Sky. Brash, back to work. Bolt. Swing and a bouncer. It's in and out of his glove. And he beats the throw. He's safe. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Pretty much did the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's the second baseman, Nick Allen. In the air to left center, Lewis on the move. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, third baseman, Nate. Now the third baseman, Mondu. Nate Mondu. Well struck right field. Way back there. That one is gone. He powers one out to right field. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. Slider right down the middle of the plate. It's like slow motion for a hitter. You're just licking your chops, waiting for it to arrive, and you want to hit it a long way. And he did. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Number 37. Now that Not shortstop. Drew Jackson. Lined, and that's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in safely into second he's got a double i'll tell you man it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that i mean sure home runs are king but i feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a ball the other way Cairo diaz gets the ball now a runner on second to deal with he'll do his best to keep him there Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Mickey McDonald. Oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. No throw, and the speedy runner is on at first. 
Now batting, center fielder. Bravo! Laureano. So digging in, Ramon Laureano. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Number 37 at third. Number 79 over at first with one away. Line drive. Come on. Now batting. Catcher. Austin. Allen. Austin Allen digs in now. into left center for a line drive base hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and the lead is up to five. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Number 20 will hit next. Now batting, the first baseman, Derby. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And it's second. That's out to center field. Pace hit as he pulls up short. Here's the throw to the plate. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. I put it on a show. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Daolis Garrett. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So now here's the DH, Sam Haggerty. And a pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Haggerty. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Bolt sizes this one up. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one away. The catcher, Joseph. Here's the catcher to hit, Joseph Odom. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. The 0-1. In there at the knees. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. Oh, 
The one two. And now two and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all yeah, the man. holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Next to hit, Mason McCoy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. Hit in the air, right field. And the inning is over. Bottom of the eighth, and here is Vimael Machine. Leading off for the Aviators, the designated hitter, Vimael Machine. And the pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Out to center, Lewis drifts towards it, and there's one down. The left fielder, number 11, go! And now, Sky Bolt. And there's a foul ball. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes the catch. And yeah, there's two away. The batter, number two, second baseman. Two outs, space is empty. Allen. Nick Allen getting ready to hit. <laughs> on the ground to short. Whips it to first on the run. Out number three. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. You're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Sam Selman. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Number 76, now at the plate. Leading off for Dakota in the third base. The pitch. Edge of the zone, call the strike. And that's strike one. Kicks and deals. And a strike in there. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the left fielder, Stuart Fairchild. 
Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And a pitch. Strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A towering home run, and they add a couple more. It's 6 3. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So up next, Jonathan Walt. The batter, the shortstop, Jonathan. And now we'll get him out, visit from the pitching coach. Probably trying to give a little more time for that arm out the bullpen to get warmed up. And that's in there for strike one. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Next one is off the plate. One and one. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Now back the seventh fielder, Kyle Lewis. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Lewis. They turn things over to the southpaw, Adam Kolarik. Now trying to protect his lead. Number 57. Adam. And first offering is fouled off. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Steven Souza Jr. stands in. Steven Souza Jr. That one's in there, 0 and 1. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Just one out away, try to close it out. Swings through that one. Just one strike away. Out to short. And that'll do it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6 3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Birds for your victorious home team. Six runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Rainiers, three runs, four hits.
no errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Without us, wherever we are, you can feel the prowess. Whenever we move, yo, we turn the style up.